Well, friends, we are learning the lesson the hack driver. Already in the first part, we have seen that a lawyer about the lawyer. Lawyer is very was very innocent, and um, he doesn't like the clerical work. And uh, when he has uh, revealed the life of the city, he becomes so nervous, and he wanted to run away to his hometown, and directly started wanted to start his uh, you know. as a lawyer his career as a lawyer and he was very bored with this uh, training period because he has to go to you know give the um, to serve the summons to the uh, criminals or victims uh, all around the, around the city and uh, sometimes he has uh, faced many many harsh situation and that is why uh, he was very you know uh, very nervous with his job also we have seen about the narrator miss uh, author who is the american novelist the first american novelist who has uh, won uh, the nobel prize for the literature then about him he was the son of country doctor and at the initial stage of life he was very very introverted and uh, very intelligent then we have seen then uh, when lawyer has got the job to go in one of the village Uh, which is uh, around 40 miles away from the city uh, the new milan that time he was very happy because he thought that i will get uh, you know very simple and very calm city calm calm village but as he went there as he entered in the village that time he found that the city is very you know dirty there was rivers of mud on the road and uh, shops of bamboo and everything and he was very very Uh, nervous disappointed with the scene of the village only one thing he has found very delighted that is the person who has found whom he has found at the railway station uh, who is around 40 uh, years old and uh, you know red faced man and very cheerful then he that man has uh, you know addressed to him that uh, i am the delivery person delivery man and i can uh, take the any stranger to roam around the uh, village and he said that okay fine i will come and why you have come here to i have to find the lutkins and then he said okay i will um, travel all around the village because i know him very well and where he goes frequently and i will take around 2 dollar per hour okay as many uh, hour you can travel okay no problem but i will uh, you know Uh, charge around two dollar per hour, and as he was traveling with him, he found uh, he's very very friendly and jolly person. Lawyer found him a very jolly and very happy boy person, and that is why he went uh, with him to find the uh, find the looking to fridge he fridge house where he plays the poker. Then he went to Gustav where he go for the shaving. But many days he didn't come because. Uh, he had not given money to him that is why then full room to have cigarette that much we have seen and when at 1 o'clock while roaming while traveling all over the city he become so hungry and that is why they wanted to have some lunch and then he asked his lawyer asked to uh, bill that uh, is there any restaurant then he said that, okay there are four restaurant but all are bad so better we can go to my house my wife will uh you know, pack up pack a lunch for us and not it, it will not cost more than half and dollar so he go okay fine and we will go to hill and we will have this lunch till we have seen i know uh, that bill's helplessness to the young fellow from the city was not entirely a matter of the brother lilo i was paying him for his time okay it is not entire pure lo but it, uh, he was paying him that is why he might might be behaving very neatly with him in the end i paid him for 6 hours including the lunch hour at what was uh, then a very high price but he was no more dishonest than i i charged the whole thing to the firm but it would have been worth paying him myself to have the presence his cheerful country wisdom was very refreshing to a country boy like myself who was sick and sick of the city and he was uh, very very cheerful that bill was very cheerful and that is why lawyer was very satisfied with his behavior as we sat on the hilltop looking over the pasture 
and a creek which still be among the trees he talked uh, of the new moon and then he talked about many things when they were having lunch and painted uh, a picture in the words of all people in it and he had talked many things about the uh, people are of the this uh, new million city uh, he painted the picture in the words of the people you see he uh, he has described every this many people of the village he noticed everything but no matter how much he might laugh at people he also understood and forgave their foolishness and he has laughed many people about many people and he has uh, forgive them for their uh, foolishness he described the minister's wife who sang the loudest in the church when she was most in the depth about the minister's wife who who sang loudest very louder very scream she was screaming uh, when she was singing that time also he uh, described that also he commented on the boys who came back uh, from college in the fancy clothes he told about the lawyer whose wife uh, could never succeed in getting him to put uh, on both a collar and a tie on the same day then he made them all alive on that day i came to know new million better than i did the city and to love it better bill didn't uh, know about the co uh, colleges and cities but he had traveled around a lot the country now he understood by sitting with them by uh, you know spending time with him uh, he understood that uh, bill is uh, bill knows very well bill knows many things because he has traveled all around the country and had had a lot of job as well and from his adventures he had brought back a philosophy of the simplicity and laughter he stand than me and because of he roam around the city around the uh, many part of the country he had got the philosophy and the simplicity because he has uh, learned many things and that is why his behavior become so simple that he understood and that stand me he become so powerful who lawyer become power because he had uh, listen many experience from the bill that is why he become so you know uh, strong with the experience we left at uh, peaceful scene of the meadows and woods and resumed our search of the oliver lutkin we could not find him at last bill con cornered our a friend of the lutkin and made him admit what he guessed oliver's gone out his mother's farm the three miles north we drove out there laying plants and then he got news that oliver might have gone to his mother's home means there surely because he got that uh, news from his friend and that is why he understood that oliver's uh, oliver has gone to his mother's farm i know oliver's mother she is terror very dangerous danger lady dangerous lady bill said i took a trunk out there for a, for her hey, oh, once and she almost took my skin off because i didn't treat it like a box of eggs you know that how we uh, treat the box of eggs very gently we keep very gently we um, handle it and and when i was taking the trunk i, I just kept it as it is then she become so angry and she was about to you uh, know root out my all the skin because i didn't handle it well the the trunk she she is about Uh, nine feet tall and four feet thick and quick as cat and she sure can talk. Just see what is the um, description of the Lutkin's mother. She is very very around. Uh, she is nine nine feet tall, very tall lady and four feet thick. Means that was strong she was and she is quick like a cat as well and she sure can talk. I shall bet Oliver heard that somebody is chasing him. he is gone on the on there to hide behind his mother's skirt and when lutkins had understood that somebody is chasing finding him searching him that time he might have got to uh, gone to his mother uh, so that mother will hide him and protect him will try her but you don't uh, you'd better let me do it boy you may be great at literature and law but you haven't had real training in the swearing so you might be very uh, good in the bookish knowledge and uh, you know you are at, at your own field but here this knowledge will not be helpful because this lady is very very dangerous we drove uh, into a poor uh, farm yard we were faced by an enormous and cheerful old woman my guide bravely went up to her and said remember me i am bill mangson a carter and hackman i want to find your son oliver He he went there and he introduced himself and he said, "I want to. I want your son. 
I don't know anything about Oliver and I don't want to see shouted. Now look here, we have had just about uh, enough nonsense. This young man represents the court in the city and we have a legal right to search all properties for his, for this Oliver Lutkins. And then he said uh, to uh, that lady, old lady, that now look here, we had uh, just about enough nonsense. This young man represents the court in the city, he is from the court. And he, uh, we have a legal right to search all properties for this Oliver Lutkins. Bill made me sound very important and the woman was impressed. She retired into the kitchen and we followed. She seized an iron from old fashioned store and marched on us shouting, you search all you want to. If you don't mind getting burned first, she shouted and laughed at our frightened retreat. And she was chasing him, uh, both of them with the uh, on rod. Let's get out of here. Civil, uh, civil murderers. Bill whispered outside. He said, "Did you see her smile? She was laughing at us." And uh, then Bill said to the lawyer, "We will uh, go from here. Otherwise, she will murder us. She will kill us because she is very dangerous lady." And you, have you seen that how she was laughing at us? I agreed that it was pretty uh, disrespect, uh, disrespectful treatment we did. However, such the house, since it was only one store high, uh, Bill went round it, peering it in all the windows. We ex examined the barn and the stable. We were reasonably certain that Lutkins was not there. It was nearly time for me to catch the afternoon train and Bill drove me to the station. So when they uh, went to the Lutkins house, he and they witnessed um, they have found uh, their, his mother and she was a very dangerous lady and uh, she was about to kill them with the iron rod and that is why they ran away from there. And then too they have uh, checked all the stable, then their one store house, everything but they didn't find there and they, they, were, they were sure that uh, Lutkin was not there. And when he has seen the time, that time, time was uh, around um, whatever Mm, the train schedule and that is why uh, now lawyer said that now time has come that I have to catch the uh, train. It was nearly time for me to catch the afternoon train and Bill drove me to the station. On the way to the city I worried very little over my failure to find Lutkin. I was too busy thinking about the Bill uh, really. I considered returning to New Million to practice law. If I had uh, found Bill so deep in and richly human, might I have not go, grow to love Frisch and Gustav and a hundred other low spoken peop, uh, simple wise neighbors. I pictured an honest and happy life beyond the strict limit of the universities and law firms. I was excited. I had found a treasure. I had discovered a new way of life. And when he had made uh, this bill, he found something different that how that man was and how he was living. And then he has compared all his life with the life of the bill. And he found a new way of life. Okay, here. So once again, I will explain here. On the way of, uh, to, uh, of the city, I worried very little over my failure because he was fell to uh, summon uh, to serve the summons to the uh, Lutkin. But to find Lutkin, hmm, <coughs> I was too busy thinking about the bill. Really, I consider returning to the new, uh, new million to practice law. If I had found bill so deep and richly human, might I have not go, uh, grow to love Fridge and Gustav and hundred other slow spoken people. Simple wise neighbors. I pictured an honest and happy life beyond the strict limit of the universities and law firms. And then he had uh, planned something, something different life that whatever law and everything, universities law and everything that he wanted to go away from that and he wanted to live very very happy life. I had found a treasure. I had discovered a new way of life. But if I did not think much about Lutkin, the office did. I found them all upset. Next morning the case was coming up in the court and he was uh, unsuccessful and he couldn't uh, bring that victim, that uh, witness, per witness, that is Lutkin. Then he will be uh, you know, getting targeted by the officials and they have to have Lutkin. I was shameful, uh, useless fool that morning my promise 
promising legal career almost came to an end before it had begun and he was unsuccessful that is why his career of the you know court in the career uh, as a lawyer was come to an end because he couldn't uh, complete his uh, whatever order is given by the higher authority he was sure about it his career will get an end the chief almost murdered me he hinted uh, that i might do well at the digging ditches so better to go with the different work to digging the ditches this was very simple work for me and i can do only that that might he said and with me went a man who had worked with the lutkins i was rather sorry because it would uh, okay and i was ordered back to the new million and again official has sent me again next day to the new million with the person who knows very well lutkin again i have to go and with me went a man who had worked with the lutkin i was rather sorry because it would uh, prevent my lofting all over the again with the bill when the uh, train arrived at the new million bill was on the station platform and again when i went there when i went to the new million city that time uh, again bill was there at the platform strangely enough that old tigeress lutkin's mother was there talking and laughing laughing with the bill and that lady also was there and who uh, she was that lady was also uh, with that bill and was laughing very loudly but not quarreling at all from the train and it was quite uh, you know an understanding thing for the lawyer that last time when they both of them went to her house that time she was very angry uh, she was uh, running behind both of them but now she is not quarreling she is just laughing at them from the train steps i pointed bill out to my companion and said there is a fine fellow a real man i spent the day with him and then he the person who has come with the that lawyer he said that uh, this is the person whom i have traveled with whole day and this is the person he is really good person he help you hunt for all your lutkin he asked he help you to uh, search uh, in search of all your lutkin Yes, he helped me a lot. He must have. He is Lutkin himself, and he said that oh, he must have, and he is the only Lutkin. He is not Bill. He is a Lutkin. What really hurt me was that when I uh, served the summons, Lutkin and his mother laughed at me as though I were a bright boy of seven, and they were laughing like that. I am very small uh, child of seven years old. That was hurting. That was not that uh, they have. He has deceived me, but when they were laughing at me. because i was innocently um, believing them and that was really hurting for me with love and kindness they begged me to go with them to neighbor's house for a cup of coffee i told them about you and you are you are anxious to look at you said lutkin joyfully they are about the only folk in the town that miss seeing you as their day so he said that they both said that um, all people have seen you that you were very full only we will go to the neighbor's house uh, for the coffee they oh, they were only the people they didn't see you uh, the person who was uh, full who is a full person and that is why they said that only i told them about you that uh, they were very anxious to look at you and when i talked about how i made the fool this uh, lawyer then they were very eager to see you that uh, the person whom bill made fool they wanted to see those uh, that person and that is why please uh, we will go to that uh, house in the for the coffee because they have uh, missed to see you yesterday so they were making fun of this uh, lawyer and we have seen that how lawyer has uh, you know blindly uh, kept faith on this bill so this is what uh, the lesson uh, was about so in this lesson what we have seen the first part we have seen that how lawyer was very innocent and uh, he was not uh, not have was having any interest in uh, that particular clerical job he wanted to be a advocate but as a training period he uh, goes to serve summons to the many victims and that time he has faced many harsh situation as well afterwards one day uh, his authority said that uh, he has to go to find Uh, Oliver Lutkin, and he went to New Milan City, which is uh, away from uh, the real city where he was serving, about 40 miles away. Then he was very happy uh, to go in village because uh, he was quite uh, you know admired of the village, and that is why he went there. But uh, he was um, found in a sheer disappointment because that uh, that 
village was not that good. The rivers of mud was there on the road. And then when he went there, that time he caught uh, one person, that is the wheel. And he helped him uh, throughout the uh, journey. And he found that that person is very, very helpful. And then when they had, when they go to the fridge house, guest staff house, then full room and the king's house, they have found, I mean, that lawyer had found something uh, different, but he has found the new way of life. And at the end, he didn't found uh, that Lutkin, he didn't catch the uh, Lutkin. Again, he uh, went to the, that authority, with, to the firm, and he, um, he got the taunt that, uh, you are not good in that uh, lawyer, lawyer uh, you know, department. You should uh, dig the holes, dig the dentures. So that time, but next day again, he has to go to the um, new university to find the Ludkin. But that time, he is not alone. He was not alone. He has got uh, one of the fellow who has worked with the Ludkin. So he knew very well who is the Ludkin. That is why he has taken him. And when they both of them entered in the again at the station. That time he found a wheel again and then he said that, okay, this is the fellow who helped me to find the Lutkin. And then that uh, the fellow which had come with the lawyer, he said, that is the person uh, who was uh, there to help you to find the Lutkin. And he is, because he said, huh, he, how he will find out that? Because he was, he himself is a Lutkin. And then he become, he didn't uh, become that uh, nervous, but when they are laughing, uh, both of them is that Lutkin's mother and Lutkin was laughing at the lawyer, like uh, he was uh, seven years old. At the end, that time he got uh, hurt a lot. And when uh, Lutkin and uh, his mother said that, uh, okay, we will go to that uh, to neighbor's house to, for coffee, because they were only remained to see you, that how I made the fool, the person, and that they wanted to see the person who is very full. That was very, very uh, no, um, nervous thing for lawyer. So in this lesson, what we have seen that we should not believe in the stranger, uh, at least when until we know them, because people take the advantage of our innocence. So we must be innocent, we must be very simple, but nobody should take the benefit of our innocence, because this world is very, very different. Uh, that the good person always get uh, something bad from society. So we have to be very, very choosy. We have to be very, you know, thoughtful while selecting the people, while uh, trusting the people. So that what this lesson uh, you know, tells us. So throughout the lesson, we can see that the innocent lawyer had got fooled by the people and also got the also become the uh, stop of the laughter of the um, Lutkin and his mother also and his uh, total. Uh, legal firm. So we should be very, very careful while choosing the people and trusting the people. So you might have understood this lesson. Study well, read the lesson again and again so that you can write uh, good answers of this, of the question which will be asked in the CBC board examination. So I hope that you have understood this lesson. Till then, thank you. Thank you very much.